Hi, I'm Chaos, and we're going to talk about Uncharted Legacy of Thieves. Now, Uncharted was an amazing game on the PS4, and it finally released for PC and PS5. And to say that it was really hit with not a lot of praise, or even hype for that matter, is kind of an understatement. The game has a very low all-time high player count for a Sony exclusive released on Steam. I think it's just due to the way that they released this game. The game came without the features that the original has. Is it really a bad game? I mean, is it worth getting? Now, you probably heard about Uncharted before, but this game is actually amazing. The story is very well done, and it comes with DLC as well. So you get both the stories, but you're still missing a crucial element to the Uncharted series that have been in it for a while since it started. Why they chose to get rid of this for just PC and PS5 doesn't make much sense, but I guess it's to save the ratings but in the end it just hurt the game anyway this game does introduce a lot of new features compared to the previous uncharted's there's a grappling hook now which is it's pretty good i mean he used it as a kid but you couldn't use it in the last ones but i guess that's just we, we don't worry about how the story is written that way and they introduce these open world sections which are actually really fun to explore but it gets a pain to look for some of these treasures in this game i was planning on collecting all the treasures for this game but it just became too tedious of a task and i just i didn't feel it i don't unlock anything if i get all these treasures Where Whereas in the previous Uncharted games, Uncharted 2 notably, you could unlock player skins and multiplayer with these treasures. And it's just, there's no sense of accomplishment grabbing these treasures anymore. I mean, you unlock like a cheat menu and stuff, but is that really worth it? I mean, you're going to end up playing this game once, and maybe if you're a completionist, you'll play it a few times. The treasure just isn't really worth to grab. This game is kind of just meant to be an experience, and that's it after you're done your experience. So is it really worth it to have an experience and you get nothing else out of it? I looked up online to see if there was any reason why they didn't release multiplayer for this game and I couldn't find a single one. And they don't even have any plans of releasing multiplayer in the future. But if they did, it would definitely boost this game dramatically. But this game just, it falls short in that area. The story is amazing. It's what you would expect out of an Uncharted game. So if you want to play this game, get it for the story. But I would wait until it goes on sale. It's just, it's not worth it in its current state. I mean, single player games are perfectly fine. But when you take a game that had all these features in it, and then you just take them all out and leave you with story that kind of is lackluster in completing it because you don't really get any accomplishment for doing it other than saying, hey, I beat this game. It's it's all right. I mean, it does have the uncharted feel of a little bit of cheesiness in some of the fights that they put you in and how OP some of the enemies are. But I guess that's just the way it is. You got to use your environment to move around and be able to take out the enemies. And that's, that's what I look forward to in Uncharted. And that's the whole point of why I like the survival co-op modes. But you can't play those anymore. And it's just, it's so annoying. After they, they've had all these modes in all the previous games. And then they just, they have it on the PS4. They have that mode on the PS4 still. You can play it if you have a PS5 and you use the PS4 version. You can play those modes. But you can't play them for the PC, PS5 version. And it's just, it's, it's, it doesn't make any sense why they would do that to you. But they just wanted to, I guess, release the game and not have to worry about online features and how that's going to synergize with PS5. It's just so annoying how they would do that to this game and just completely bomb it. They, they released absolute banger Sony exclusives on the PC. Spider-Man, God of War, all amazing all-time highs. And then they released Uncharted and it got 10,000 people playing it. Why would they do that? You can see that it was just because they didn't want multiplayer in the game that really hurt this game. Who wants to play a game like this that has like a 10 hour story? That's it. It has a 10 hour story. And then they give you an extra, what, I think it's like six hour story. But it's like, why would they do this to you? And honestly, the game is good. The story is everything that you would hope for in Uncharted. The full experience of the game is not there. And it's just, it's not worth getting unless you get it on sale for cheap. It's sad to see that because I was really hoping that this was going to be an absolute banger of a release. And they did Uncharted dirty with this. The game just doesn't feel like it's self without the multiplayer modes or anything to strive for you can't run a survival to see how far you can get to test your skills in this game especially with the grappling hook feature i will recommend this game every single day if they add back multiplayer and co-op but they just they won't it'll take too much time and effort to add that back to this game and it's sad to see that they would do this to this so i mean get it if you really want to play the uncharted story but other than that there's nothing after that it's just blank there's nothing beat the story and that's that's all you get so i mean like i didn't really delve into the details of this game too much it's it's an amazing game amazing game everything's perfectly executed for an uncharted game the story is perfect it's the a great conclusion to
to a series and then they didn't release it with multiplayer. They couldn't even release the final game with multiplayer. That ruins it in my eyes and a lot of other people's eyes too. Why get this game if you only have a 10 hour story and a six hour DLC and then that's it. That's all you get to play. You don't even get to like revel in the game mechanics or anything unless you want to play through the story again which you've already beaten. It's just, it doesn't make any sense why they would do this and it's sad. I mean, I hope they add multiplayer to this game. I really hope they add multiplayer to this game. If you like this video, hit the like button, please. It helps a lot. And if you like my other videos, hit the subscribe button. You'll probably enjoy what I'm releasing next. There isn't much to say about this game anymore. I don't even have anything extra for the end. So why are you still watching? Just go, please. I, I, I can't believe I wasted your time. I could have just told you no. Don't get this. I could have just said that. I really could have just said that. Thanks for watching.